Defense Secretary Jim Mattis met with troops at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, on Thursday, the first visit by an American defense chief to the U.S. Naval outpost in more than a decade. Donald H. Rumsfeld was the last defense secretary to visit Guantanamo, where the George W. Bush administration imprisoned hundreds of suspected militants in the months after the 9-11's attacks on New York and Washington. The prison, which housed more than 700 inmates at its peak, became a symbol of the U.S. Excesses that followed those attacks, including detainee torture, extrajudicial imprisonment and opaque, slow-moving military trials. The Trump era has stranded these five men at Guantanamo Bay. Colonel Robert Manning III, a Pentagon spokesman, said Mattis made the visit to thank service members during the holidays but was not scheduled to visit the prison facilities or meet with officials responsible for the 41 detainees remaining there. The visit highlights the Trump administration's evolving approach to the prison and to prosecuting and detaining terrorism suspects. Since taking office, President Trump appears to have backed off earlier promises to fill Guantanamo with bad dudes. His administration has taken little visible action to renew military detentions there or to overcome the hurdles holding up the military commissions that are supposed to try suspects in the 9-11's attacks. President Barack Obama failed to deliver on his promises of shuttering Guantanamo, and lawmakers have consistently opposed moving inmates to U.S. Facilities for Detention or Trial Guantanamo remains a symbol of torture and illegal and illegitimate detention and trials, said Rahawala, Director of National Security Advocacy at Human Rights First. So it's unsurprising that the Trump administration is figuring out what prior administrations already knew, Guantanamo is a big headache and an unattractive option compared to detention using normal procedures, Walla said. After first saying, send him to Gitmo, Trump changes his mind about NY. Terrorism suspect, while political leaders including Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who visited Guantanamo in July, have voiced support for continuing detentions at Guantanamo, resistance from agencies involved in trying and housing terrorism suspects appears to have helped quash any steps to renew detentions there. Trump appeared to reference those challenges after a terrorism attack in New York last month. After initially saying he would like to see suspect Seifulo Sepov at the military prison, the president later tweeted that he would love to send the New York City terrorist to Guantanamo, but statistically, that process takes much longer than going through the federal system. Dan Lamott, Julie Tate, Matt Zapotosky, and Devlin Barrett contributed to this report.